Hey guys, it's Deeds. Thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited to be going through a process video with a creative retreat kit, Faith Art Box. This one is from September. This has such a really cool theme and coloring to it. As you can see here, I wanna introduce you to just a little bit here. If you haven't already gotten this, I suggest that you do. It's gorgeous. This font is different and it's all around just a wonderful package to be putting into your Bible. A lot of this stuff here, specifically this font is new. This is a very, very different type of font that they've put into their kit for this month. Be careful when you use these stickers because they rip a little easily. Here we have elements. Um, as usual, the coloring scheme is perfect and these words here are very much in tune with their theme. Praise, worship, trust, calling. Um, they have even the word the in here, which I find so incredible just because when you have these types of things, mixing and matching becomes so much easier as you put them down in your Bible. There's a little bit here that I just want to show you. These hearts are all different shapes and sizes. Of course, they have the little bullet hearts here, which I find to be very helpful as well when I'm sticking things in my Bible. Four or five, you know, here and there. These, air, these things here are wonderful. I love these strips here. And then the stamps. The stamps are incredibly beautiful. I love the lettering and I'm just so excited to use all of this. I can't wait. All, God, wonder, hope, grace. You can tell the gist of where they're going with these. And you can find any of these words in your Bible. I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna use a lot of these in um, conglomerates. So I'm very, very excited to show you what I've done with this package, with this uh, Faith Art Box Kit. So now that I've done that, let's get started. So I'm laying down some acrylic paints today and that's something that I go to usually every single time I journal in my Bible. Acrylic paints is a very easy and fast way to get some backdrop down, to get some color laid down. And in the process, you're not going to mess up too much. You can do a lot while the paint is still wet. You can dilute it to make it not so thick. Right now, I'm not doing much of anything except just grabbing my biggest brush and laying some of it down. With each color, I do use a smaller size brush. And so you'll see that the brush strokes do get a little bit smaller, but as far as everything else is concerned, I just want color on my page. There is really no reason why I put it here and there. It's just that's where I decided that's where I was led. These colors come from specific colors from the kit itself, which is why I'm using these colors and you'll see later why. Hopefully it's a good balance of coloring. When I got started at first, I thought, oh no, I've already started too big. But you guys just hang tight. Whenever you get to a place in your journaling where you feel like, oh, what have I done? You know, just hang in there, wait until the end, and then see what happens. Because generally speaking, I've never had a time when even in the middle of a process, I was frustrated and I got to the end and I thought, oh, I, I can't even stand to look at this. It's always been sort of like, okay, well, that was, that was an interesting page. And it actually turned out all right. And what I thought was a mess in the very beginning sort of turned out to be quite lovely or not so bad to look at. So just hang in there. It really is up to you guys how you want to draw specific sections of scripture out so that you can remember them in the future. This is for you and, and for the purpose of lingering in God's word much longer than you're used to. It's to kind of bring you to a special place as you're creating in a way that you can commune with your creator. Acts 4.12 says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The reason why I'm journaling this is because Jesus is my Savior. Jesus has brought me from a place where I understand I was hopeless and helpless without Him. He is the source of life. And as I was journaling this page, the only thing that kept going through my head was that song lyric, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. So I had to get that down in the margin of my Bible because of how lovely, of how blessed the name of Jesus is to me specifically. 
In certain ways, this verse compels me. This verse beckons me to share this beautiful name, this wonderful name, and this very powerful name. As you can see here, there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. It's a saving name. It's a redemptive name. It's a refreshing name, and it's one that is wanting to sanctify and cleanse and make whole. The name of Jesus is a powerful name, and that's why I had to put so much emphasis on this particular page. I'm really glad that there were stickers that correlated with this idea because God really touched me with Acts 4.12. I was in my car and I heard a song that said something about the name of Jesus and he is the source of life and I need his hand in mine and where else can I go? And so those are some lyrics that I also journal here at the bottom in addition to this larger lyric that I have here at the top. But you guys, when God speaks to you like that, especially after you've been lingering in his word, especially after you've been meditating on a passage of scripture that he shows you, this is why journaling is so great. This is why I would encourage anybody to document your faith. This is why I have begun to make big deals about making sure that whenever I find something, whenever God shows me something, whenever I'm being taught or convicted about something, I've got to write it down because I am easy to forget. And every once in a while, when you're doing a flip through of your scriptures, you see these and you can see the date that you were specifically touched by these passages. It means a lot. God's word is living and active. And I'll tell you what, the day that I journaled this, I was floating. I was here. I was really floating. This was a time of true worship for me. And I truly thank the Lord that there are times when I can be still, when there, when there are times that I can be quiet, really truly realize who Jesus is in my life. There is no other name by which I am saved. I'm just finishing up with a couple of stickers here. You saw me put some hearts down. I've got some flowers down. Here I'm just doing the love label and it's sticky on the back. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put some powder, some baby powder on the back of that to make it not so sticky. You'll see what I do in just a second so that it doesn't stick. But there it is, just doing some finishing clippings and making sure that I can lay it flat in my Bible. Here's some finished photos of what it is that I was able to do. And it was pretty simple. It's paint, it's stickers, and then it's just your heart right there on the page. So let Jesus grab you. And that name Jesus, even before you sit down to read the scriptures, call out to him, Jesus. Touch me today, Jesus. Wash me today, Jesus. Cover me in your word today, Jesus. Make a difference in my perspective and in the way that I think today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a devotion and process video. I look forward to doing more and seeing you guys soon. Bye.